You mentioned Dayton. You know, you got a pretty good look at him up close. And who would you compare him to, you know, on an NBA level of, of someone that's playing or maybe over the past sort of decade or so? I mean, I thought somebody made a comparison to like a team Elijah on, like just with his footwork and his size and stuff. I, shoot, I never saw a team play in person live. I mean, and then maybe that's too much because the team was so skilled. But I'll tell you what, like he, I mean, he's a monster. Like, I mean, he's, he is a, large man that moves pretty well for a guy 7-1. So, I, I, I mean, he's got a body, too. Like, I mean, he just, like, there's no fat. Like, he's almost got a body like Dwight Howard. He's not quite that big, but, but he's more skilled. Like, I mean, he's making, he's not going to freeze in the games and can handle it a little bit. So, I, look, I told our guys, I said, there's a reason this guy's projected to be the number one pick. And I said, I think he's going to be the number one pick. Like, you know, I think we're going to beat them, but I still think this guy's going to be the number one pick. Like, but I also told him this. The kid was playing high school basketball last year. Like, we've got grown men on this team. Like, like NBA teams draft players in the lottery on potential. Like, this guy's potential is through the roof. Like, and I agree with the NBA scouts that he should be the number one pick. That doesn't mean he's got to be the best player on the floor in our game. 